It's Zip the Ender here again, and I want to give you the run through of the item that's taken everyone by storm. It's the Black Cleaver, and let me tell you why it's awesome. Firstly, it gives you CDR, armor penetration, and attack damage. These are the three key stats for any AD caster, and this gives plenty of each, as well as 250 health. Now that's not all. It comes at a very reasonable cost, and it also gives you a killer passive to boot. It gives you armor reduction on a passive. Now, this was already present, present in Season 2. However, they reworked it a little bit now. It reduces enemy's champion armor by 7.5% for 4 seconds. But this effect stacks 4 times. What this means is that 7.5% is added up 4 times. So, if you hit them once, their armor is reduced by 7.5%. Hit them twice, it's reduced by 15%. And then hit them three times, 22.5, and then up to a 30% armor reduction. So this means if they have 100 armor, it's reduced by 30% times 0 0.7 to give 70 armor. That's how the armor reduction works. What happens if you have multiple black cleavers? How does that work? I'll tell you how that works. All of these stats, that's all of these, are added up. So 10% CDR becomes 20% CDR. 50 armor penetration becomes 30 armor penetration. Attack damage becomes 100. You get the idea. They just add up. However, the armor reduction stacks do not increase. So what what, what I mean is the 7.5, 15, 22.5, and 30 stay exactly the same. But before, they took four hits to stack up. Now, since you've got two of these, each hit stacks it twice. So now it only takes one, two hits to stack up. So if you hit them twice, you're already the maximum armor reduction. That's how this works when you stack up multiple black cleavers. If you've got four black cleavers and you hit them once, you instantly get 30% armor production. Here's an interesting thing. If you hit them, let's say, pow, that's a fist, right? If you hit them for 100, that damage will not increase due to their armor being reduced. Because the first hit does not apply the armor reduction. What happens is, you hit them once for 100, and then the game realizes, oh, you did damage. Let me reduce the enemy's armor. And then your second hit hits them when they have 7.5% armor reduction. So your first hit actually does not reduce their armor. Well, it does, sorry. But the damage does not increase due to the reduced armor. Your next hit does. So in order to take a full advantage of the four times uh, armor reduction, you actually have to hit them five times, which is one more than you would expect. Now, that's the interesting thing. Now, let's take a look at some crazy examples of how this works. Now, one of the most dangerous AD casters has to be this guy. That's Renekton, the Butcher of the Sands, giant crocodile guy, he hates Nessus. Now, one of his abilities is called Slice and Dice. What he does, he slices through an enemy, and he dashes straight back. If you have enough fury, the di dash back reduces enemy armor. How much does it reduce it by? It reduces it by a staggering 35%. Now, what does this mean? Let's say you have... Let, let's, let's do the math for this here. Okay. I write down the enemy armor here. Let's say enemy has 100 armor. You have 35% armor reduction from slice and dice. You reduce their armor by 35% and it becomes 65. Great. Now you got 30% from Black Cleaver. You reduce that and then it becomes 45.5 and then you've got let's say you built Last Whisper and you took all the masteries okay so it's assuming 21 offense masteries I'll show you them in a second after I've done all these calculations so let's say you have 40% from Last Whisper and 8% from Diamond Penetration Mastery that's 48% pin these are all reductions so 48% pin on this value and you get 23.6 armor. That's not all. Let's say you're running full-on armor penetration from runes and you get, this is Marks and Quinns here, that's 20 penetration right there. And their armor becomes 3.6. That's next to zero now, remember? But that's not all. You've also got the armor penetration from the black cleaver which is another 15 and you've also got the armor penetration from the flat armor penetration, Sunder which is 
at the bottom of the armor penetration tree. These two added up give you another 21 armor penetration. This will go to zero. It can't, it can't go negatives because penetration does not take resistances to negatives. That's just how it works. It goes reduction, penetration, and zero. The only thing that can take someone below zero is reduction. And reduction is too high up here. But that's staggeringly crazy. You can take someone with 100 armor to a zero with Renekton if you have a Black Cleaver and a Last Whisper with 21 on offense. That's how ridiculous this is. And just to show you the masteries I'm using, are, or this theoretical Renekton will be using, it's 21 on offense. So you got the 8% armor penetration from here, and you got the six, uh, 5 flat armor penetration from here. And that's where you get the final values. So you can reduce someone from 100 armor straight down to zero with around 18 armor penetration to boot with just a Last Whisper, Black Cleaver, and Renek Dash along with 21 in Masteries. That's how crazy this is. And remember, this item stacks. So you can do 35% armor reduction, 30% sorry, in one hit if you have four Black Cleavers. And it applies for the rest of your team. So you can reduce someone's armor from 100 to 65 and everyone on your team hits that person for this value. That makes it better than penetration. This item is insanely strong. Why wouldn't you buy it? And Riot is nerfing it. So you better make the most of it right now. This is Ziff the Ender with a really quick rant on Black Cleaver. I hope you enjoyed that. Cheers. I'm out.